hey, this is part two of the same of the video that you're watching. Okay, I hope you've taken a break. Yeah, in part two, we come to the design. The design is basically the feel and the touch. It has two parts. The first part is the user interface. The interface is basically what your users see. And then there's also the exchange. Exchange, this is what happens in the background in the server. The uh, commands are sent via the user interface and then interpreted from the, on the server side. So depending on what you want, an information site basically doesn't need a backend unless you're going to have uh, where users register, they upload their pictures, where you have, you're going to have e-commerce, where you're going to have a portal where people come and do all kinds of stuff, where you're going to input data and then retrieve the data through reports and everything like that. So that is web development. And web development is a little bit technical depending on the language and also the technology used or the framework. So with that kind of thing, I think we need to we sit down with the user or the system requirements and then we define what the actual actually the user wants to know. We put it in technical terms and then come up with a user uh, uh, some kind of proposal which the user uses and then uh, we design the we do the development. Whereas for the design, we can just keep on designing and changing. We, uh, we add pages, remove pages. So for small companies, which I realize are not so much online, that goes for as little as hundred to two hundred and fifty thousand. Not not a hundred, hundred and fifty to two hundred and fifty thousand. That is a simple the page site. But for a big site, e-commerce and stuff like that. That would it still come back to a quotation. We do a proposal and then send it to you. Now join me in the in the other third part, where we are now going to look at the hosting. 